Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen what is respiration. So we are going to see the respiration in plants in this video. Now, do you remember what was the last condition we had discussed in the respiration? Yes, it involved oxygen. Now, this kind of respiration where oxygen is involved, we called it as aerobic respiration. Since the aerobic respiration involves the pathway depending upon oxygen, the aerobic organisms need to ensure that there is sufficient intake of oxygen. And this is done by the large intracellular spaces which ensure all the cells are in contact with the air. Now the carbon dioxide and the oxygen are exchanged by the process of diffusion in the plants. Now the oxygen and carbon dioxide can move into the cell, can go out in the cell or can move out in the air. Now this merely depends upon the environmental conditions or by the requirements of plant. Now the plants have two different conditions at night and day. Now at night there is no photosynthesis process going on in the plants. So it has only respiration process. So the only work at night happens is elimination of carbon dioxide. At day, the photosynthesis and respiration process both occur simultaneously. Now the carbon dioxide which is released during the respiration process is utilized in the photosynthesis process. So there is no release of carbon dioxide at the daytime. Instead, oxygen is released in the photosynthesis process as a byproduct which is released by the plant as an excess product. We all know that how important oxygen is. So this is the reason why we are asked to plant more and more trees so that sufficient amount of oxygen is released into the environment. We will be seeing the respiration in various animals in the next video.